It's time for another case, a slip of the tongue. Is it going to be another traffic one? Simon's dying me out, is it? Phelps, Bukowski. B Cop says he located a green Kaiser Fraser from the hot sheet. Address is 6 West 2nd Street. Get over there and see what you can find out. Go on. Sorry to inconvenience you. Cheers, Captain. We're on it, Captain. We're on it, Captain. Get I out swear of the way. more vent cars we bring in, the longer the hot sheet gets. It pays the rent, though. It keeps Mrs. Phelps in the manner to which she's accustomed. I'm not sure she'd agree with you. A passionate romantic type like you, Cole? I don't believe it. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Why are you so slow, man? Good night from that car. Oh, 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 fantastic. They're calling her the doll, you know. I wonder what Veronica Lake makes of that one. What a case. You hear whether they're making any progress? Well, Captain Donnelly seems to think they have it all wrapped up. Brown and Green are sweating this manly character. I heard it'll be in front of a grand jury by next week. Not clear what I'm about. <laughs> Terrible enough being murdered by a cop without having your death strewn all over the front pages. Start your jibber jabber. Six West Second Street. That's the car, Cole. Just pulling out of the drive. Get it! Oh, we got a car chase already. Remember, we need them healthy enough to answer questions. Oh, this is 47, Detective Phelps, requesting immediate backup in pursuit of a stolen green Kaiser Fraser from 6 West 2nd Street. Oh, can I wrap it? Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. Oh, you lucky cunt. The car's fucking meant to fuck. How's he not stopped? No, you think about that. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. Maybe that was a couple miles over the speed limit. Get bracelets on it, Phelps. Out of the car now! Car 11K to You dropped no fucking door. Come on. Why did you run from us? I saw a big car in my rearview mirror with two tough guys bearing down on me. What would you do? What's your name? Cliff Harrison. Do you run under arrest? For what? What are you talking about? Nice try. I'm talking about the car being stolen. You're out of your mind. I bought the car, and I've got the paperwork to prove it. Like we'll have some questions for the people at Coombs Automotive. Okay. Sorry about your car. You purchased this car from Coombs Automotive Company? Yeah, that's right. Uh... Make sure that guy actually. I think he's telling it true. Fuck okay. it. And the ownership papers? Are from the same place. If this is a forgery, it's top notch. This will need to be traced. Oh, that was right. You have a criminal record, Mr. Harrison? No. Nothing like that. Hey, you bleep fuck off. You better give us something, Cliff, or we're gonna make this hard on you. I didn't steal the car. I ran because... 
because I've got some wacky backy in the glove compartment. How much, Cliff? One reefer. We'll let it slide. You're in enough trouble. Who did you deal with at Coombs Automotive? The owner, Richard Coombs. And he made out the bill of sale personally? Of course he did. He kept a facsimile for his records. Check with him. We're going to get to the bottom of this, Harrison. Until okay. You do, you're going downtown. You gotta be kidding me! I'm getting arrested for buying a goddamn car? If everything is legit, Harrison, you'll be out soon. Until then, if I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut. Bag his possessions as evidence and have him arranged for Grand Theft Auto. Right, Detective. Do you know who my father is? Not a clue, man. You need to get to Coombs Auto and check out Harrison's story. Oh, yeah, driving. Can you drive to this one? So, where do you want to go? I think he's telling the truth. Some of the most convincing people you will ever listen to are born liars. Usually they're called politicians. True that. Do you know who my father is? What can I just name? Not another step. I have got a Buick Century sedan that would be absolutely perfect for you. I've heard this shit before. Detective Phelps, LAPD. Are you the owner? That's right. Richard Coombs at your service. Oh, he's a famous You're looking to trade him. in a black and white, boys? <laughs> Mr. Really Coombs, is. we're investigating an auto theft. A man by the name of Cliff Harrison claims he bought the car here. Well, uh, some people would say that my cars are a steal. That's a joke, son. Very amusing, Mr. Cohn. I remember Harrison. It was a green two-tone Kaiser Fraser, if I remember rightly. Do you have the bill of sale? It's in my office. Walk this way. Walk this way. What the fuck is that? That's a joke too, son. Phelps, you mind if I shoot this guy? He's getting on my nerves. No, go right ahead, mate. I'm thinking the same. The shit place for the car thing. One little office. Here it is. Got the original pink slip there too. Gene Archer. 146 North Fremont Avenue. Marquee printing company. Best address for Marquee printing. Mm -hmm. Harrison's uh, purchase receipt was legit at least. 2,450. Okay, now. We have a couple of questions. All right, fellas. Shoot. Can you tell us how you came to buy the car? Girl just wandered in right off the street. Seems legit. Nothing unusual about the car. Not really my usual type of vehicle. The price was certainly right, though. Nice girl, but about as sharp as a bag of wet mice. Did you pay with check or cash? <laughs> okay. No check. She wanted it made out to cash, but I insisted. Man has to watch his cash flow. What name? I made it out to Gene Archer on the Bank of Arcadia. Can you describe this Gene Archer? Brunette, maybe 25, 26. Little on the plump side, but not bone ugly. What was your impression of her? Kind of harried and harassed, in a hurry to go somewhere but no place to go. You get to know the type. The fuck is this guy? Do you know anything about the company that prints these pink slips? Nope. Should I? 
It isn't exactly my business. I don't think that's all I either. It's fucking blinking a lot like, but uh no, nah, just It's legitimate though. Okay, we it. Says Marquee Printing. You've never heard of them? Marquee. Sure. They do all the government red tape. You'll find the place down on Aliso Street near San Pedro. Okay, that was right. When exactly did you hand over the check, Mr. Combs? Close of play on Friday. Okay, that's a lie. Why didn't you pay her cash? You knew the car was dirty. I had an inkling. When people are in a hurry for money, always pay by check, son. Gives you a couple days to back out. I mean, that's smart. This was all above board. Yes, of course it was. Fuck off. I mean, he's pulling a weird fucking face there, isn't he? Did this look legitimate to you, Coombs? I'm in used cars, son, not bearer bonds. In my business, you don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Now don't come on all high and mighty with me if you want my help. Oh, that was for your help, Mr. Coombs. We need to continue the investigation. Hope you sort out your problem with Mr. Harrison. Go easy on him, son. Boy's about as sharp as a bowling ball. He's built too low. The fastballs fly over his head. Let me shoot this guy, please. You have a pleasant day, Mr. Coombs. <laughs> he is a character, isn't he? Fucking hell. <laughs> You can shoot him now, by the way. Well, Harrison might be off the hook, but we can still run an APB on Gene Archer. Get on the horn and call it in. Patching you through now, detective. Phelps, badge 1247. Phelps, badge 1247. Requesting an APB, APB on Gene, on Gene Archer, Archer, age approximately 25, on suspicion of Grand Theft Auto. I'll relay the information. Thank you. Messages, please. A James Belasco is being held at Central Station on suspicion of GTA. Possible link to the Harrison case. They're waiting on you to conduct the interview. Thanks for your help. Cheers, my dear. It's not about getting, it's about giving. What could you want about? About that? About that? I mean, is that else in this area, isn't it? You can drive. Uh, where are we going? What was that? What was that other house in it? I want to go to this printing company. chicken and egg question for you. Do you think you have to be an asshole to sell cars? Or that selling cars turns you into an asshole? You've got it in for everyone uh, Selling today, cars turns you into an asshole. It my fault. Doesn't matter what day it is. And why do they always think they're comedians when they're about as funny as a heart attack? Maybe the more annoying they are, the quicker you sign on the dotted line. <laughs> that could be the hell out of there. She goes aboard the George Washington for the first... You gotta be an asshole to sell cars. And he looks like an asshole. <laughs> and what can I do for you, gentlemen? I'm a traffic detective from Central Division. Who's in charge here? I am, Gordon Lightfall. What's this about? We understand that your company prints California vehicle titles. Yes, I have the government contract to print pink slips. I've done for some years. Have you had any goods or equipment stolen recently? We're running up against stolen cars with seemingly legitimate paperwork. Not recently. Have you ruled out forgery? 
There's no shortage of talented artists in this town. We'll keep it in mind. Well, aren't you fucking doing some dirty dealings in there? Somewhere. Hey, is that it? Ah, let's do it more here, sure. Let's go. Oh, behind him. Yeah, there's lots of notes. Okay. You know the way. You can drive. Maybe I can come back to that place. All right. Where to? Don't see anything at all. Good news to you. No, free mount Avenue. Empty. Should have known that Archer Broad would have given us a false address. We should go to the station, see what this Belasco guy has to say. Okay, can you... Uh, can you drive, please? You're behind the wheel. Fine. Where are we headed? <laughs> Detectives, Belasco is prepped and ready in two. Another stolen car with legit papers. Thanks. The fuck is going on? In two? Uh, what interrogation rooms? Holding cells. Your room one. Straight through the red light. Said she never saw it. In room two. Crummy bastard. James Belasco? I want a lawyer. It's my car and I got the proof right here. Take a look for yourself. The paper is real enough, Belasco, but the car isn't yours. This pink slip is a forgery. Wait, how is it a forgery? Where were you taking the car, James? Blow it off, Greenhorn. You'll get nothing from me. You're a two-time loser. If you don't give me something, I'm going to ask the DA for the maximum. You're looking at 10 years, Belasco. Kiss your youth goodbye. I, I want a deal. Keep talking and we'll see what sort of deal you're worth. My job is to drive the cars out of state. Nevada, Arizona, sometimes New Mexico. With the paperwork they provide, it's normally a breeze. Hey, who's that? Does the name Jean Archer mean anything to you? Nope. Never heard of her. Oh, God, that looks like it's a lie. You want my partner here to convince you that you do know her? I'm giving you the straight dope. I don't know no Gene Archer. Fuck. What happens to the cars once they cross over the state lines? I don't know. I just deliver them. Uh... 
Did that say? Well, oh, that's. <laughs> I don't know. Want that one? <laughs> okay. I want to know about the ownership papers. Who do you get them from? I pick them up along with the car. Always from a different guy. Every time. Fuck it. Was wrong. to cooperate. The last go. See you in ten years when you get out. Fuck, it was wrong. You're Phelps, right? Yes, I am. Look, can we do this later? I'm in the middle of it. Ray Pinker. I'm with Technical Services. The pink slips are all real. Yes, we know that. There's only one company that prints them in California. The Marquee Printing Company. They've confirmed that the numbers are legitimate. You've checked them out? Sure. They're on Aliso Street, near the corner of San Pedro. The guy I spoke to was Lightvol. Gordon Lightvol. Here, I wrote it down. Thanks, Ray. This is a great lead. We'll get down there as soon as we can. I've already been there, Anna. Phelps, your GTA suspect, Gene Archer, spotted by a patrolman. Western Union office, 253 South Hill. Less than a minute away down the street if you run. Go! She won't hang around. Down the street. I'm rotted. Screw it. She wants a five star. Uh, this is. The new, you know. Wait, is this is me this? I don't know. Don't need this. Oh, she is there. I'm doing it. LAPD. We'll take it from here. God damn it. Everyone's against me. Look, just let me get my money and get out of here, okay? You look sweet. How about giving a girl a break? I could be very nice. I'm afraid I can't do that, Miss Archer. Stefan, call for black and white. Just my luck to get the only hair sure cop in the LAPD. The car you sold to Coombs was stolen, Miss Archer. There won't be any money. I handed over all the right paperwork when I sold it, Buster. Jeez, it's hard to read her. Must be right, because he said all pink slips are real. Calm down, Jean. Just tell me why you sold the car. You're sweet. You really are. Just get the fuck out of my way. That was wrong. Fuck. How long have you and Belasco been delivering cars? Who is James Belasco? You just said his name. He's your boyfriend. He's the guy you boost cars with. He gave you up. He thinks you're so dumb you'd steal a free sample. So I'm no genius. I make the best with what I've got. Why are you so cruel? Fuck me, I'm not you doing it right. make this hard on yourself, Gene. Let's see how you handle the hard time. <laughs> All the questions wrong. Okay, now let's fuck. You can drive. <laughs> Do we know where we're going? 
Yeah, we're off there again. I don't know if I even got this case right, to be honest with you. Sony girl used to getting her own way. Little did she know her feminine charms were useless against the impenetrable Cole Phelps. She's not my type. And what is your type, Phelps? I'm married. <laughs> I know that. But you're not blind or dead inside, are you? Wait, scrap that second half of the question. <laughs> I don't know. Blondes, I guess. Hallelujah, the man is human after all. <laughs> now we're getting some. Yep, I'm with you on the blondes. Brunettes are fine too. And there's nothing wrong with a good redhead. <laughs> but I draw the line at gray. You know what? I might have to lift that embargo soon in the interest of maintaining the food market. A man with high standards. The standards are only as high as the last glass of whiskey. Wow. Oh, we got a fucking head again, look. We have some questions for you, Mr. Lightball. Mr. Lightball, we're currently working two auto theft cases. Do you know anything about a car theft ring? Uh, certainly not. Why would I get mixed up in a thing like that? You're the only one that pinks pink slips, it has to be you. Jimmy Pink's it made out to Cliff Harrison. The Jimmy Pink's Listen, I'm busy. You know where the door is. I think you're in this up to your neck, light ball. You're out of your mind. What an allegation. I'll report you to your superiors. The chief of police is a very good friend of mine. You're the only one that makes fucking pink slips. A very heartfelt and genuine apology is in order from you, young man. Oh, maybe the names this Cliff one. Harrison and James Belasco mean anything to you? No, they do not. Fuck, it's a lie in it, but... Like, because he's moving his eyes. I'll try the same one. Listen, again. I'm busy. You know okay. where the door is. You sure about that, Mr. Lightball? You sure you've never heard of them? Are you making an accusation, young man? Do you have any kind of proof? I got all the pink slips, mate. This will be right on eventually. My word is my bond. Character is in short supply these days. You could do with gaining a little. Fuck. Do you have a delivery ledger, Mr. Lightval? We would like to cross-check against the Coombs Automotive Emporium. It's a little out of the ordinary, Detective. Uh, I'm not sure I can share those sorts of records. I gotta use this this time, fucking... A real good answer. Uh, what is it? Fucking hell. Looks like he's about to fucking cry. Fuck it. Hand it over, light ball. You don't want us having bad thoughts about you, do you? Very well. Yes, I'm going really is irregular. Woo! Over here. One out of three, I'm... Oh. 
crap detective over here. Look for patterns, referring names, unusual addresses, anything out of the ordinary. As before, say industrial state, isn't it? You certainly encourage repeat business, Lightvolt. This Mr. Bigelow is a good customer. Sorry to bother you, sir. We'll let you know if there are any developments. Bigelow collection, Dylan Christie. One box. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Fucking drive. Thank you. Man, I've got like four questions right. What the fuck? What have I got guns out for? I think we should call for a couple of black and whites. We can flush you down here. I thought you Marines were gung ho, Cole. You have a 45. Don't you ever want to use it? I'll take the back. Just give me a few seconds to get around there. Nice job. Cole Phelps, LAPD. All of you are coming downtown with me. Go. Reinforcements are on the way. Cease and desist. Throw out the guns. Oh, oh. oh, I just shot. Why is he facing that way? I'm Okay, let's shot that guy in the neck. War zone. Let's clear the top floor. I don't want to get drilled under Wait the Wait a minute, I get me hot. I can't grab me hot. No. At the end, I heard something. 
Incidental. <laughs> Incidental. All right, all right, don't shoot. Keep your hands up. Watch him, Bukowski. He doesn't move until I've tossed this place. There are enough slips here to keep them stealing cars till Christmas. Jesus. Key Printing Company. <laughs> There's nothing like going direct to the source. A betting slip. Looks like Mr. Lightfall has been on a losing streak. Uh -huh. We've got a trail of pink slips and stolen cars that leads right to your door, Bigelow. You're in this up to your neck, but I don't think you're the man in charge. Make it easier on yourself. Give him up. I had to work on cars for customers. You charge in here shooting up the place like it's the Ballad of Bulge. I can't give you anything. We know about marquee printing. You can make this easier on yourself by giving us your man on the inside. I sometimes repair cars and put them back on the road. I need a pink slip to resell them. There's no problem there. Oh shit, it's either that or it's that, innit? There are at least four dead men in this warehouse. A couple more. Punks. Ask the community. They help me out. We'd be doing the legal system a favor. Okay, okay, tough guy. I get the message. Lightfall. The guy who runs Marquis. He's the big shot. He likes to spend big at the track. He owes people. Lightfall. The guy with no luck at the track. Tell me about him. One of the guys lying over there. Fuck off. Right. He has no luck. <laughs> oh, you fucking idiot. Okay, what can I use here? A fucking man. Fuck off. So if I go over there and check his jacket. Your story's gonna ring true? I'm warning you, Bigelow. Give it a try, Flatfoot. For some reason, none of my guys like to bring ID to work. That's it. Whether you give up your bosses or not, Bigelow, you're going away for as long as I can put you there. We'll see. I didn't fire a shot, Kappa. I just watched you tear my place up. Man, this has been a tough one. You know the way. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? So there's too many shit that I like, too many evidence that looks the exact same. What a mess. Ugh, gonna take some cleaning up, that's for sure. I wish it hadn't gone that way. Well, they shouldn't bring guns to work with them. We didn't have a lot of choice. You have to admire the barefaced cheek of someone who tries to blow your brains out one minute and then pleads innocence the next. Yeah, especially when he's surrounded by evidence. You know, guys like Bigelow spend so much time convincing themselves that they're not doing anything wrong that they actually start to believe their own bullshit. They get sloppy. Bigelow, Lightval, all of them. 
If they hadn't, who knows how long they could have kept this racket going. Complacency or greed? It's always one of the two that brings him down. Uh, me getting wrong, this is probably why not bring him down. But you get a bit of a margin for error in the start of one's foot later on. If you start getting wrong, you get fucked. Let's take a quick intermission. You're under arrest. You again? This harassment is starting to wear thin. We found a box of pink slips in a warehouse full of hot cars. You signed for them, Lightbulb. I signed for all the orders and deliveries. You'll need something better than that, cowboy. Uh, it's the betting things in it, sure. Is it the gambling debt site? That betting debt so. Save it, Lightball. We already have all we need to send you down. I've had enough of this. You either produce some shred of proof, or I call my attorney. Is it that or is it that? Ah, fuck it. You're in the hole with the organization. We know about the debts, Lightfall. I agree. I have a small problem. I'm prepared to help you in any way I can, Detective. I'll name names. Uh, I need you to keep this out of the paper. I need... You need to shut up now, Lightfall. <laughs> Gordon Lightfall, right. I'm charging you with conspiracy and fraud. Hands behind your back. The LAPD Central Traffic Division has today smashed a nationwide auto theft ring, writes crime correspondent, blah, blah, blah. Oh, here it is. Traffic squad detectives confronted a large group of armed thugs. After an exchange of gunfire, more than a dozen dead criminals were removed from the scene. The LAPD sustained no casualties. Damn fine work, Phelps. Now get out there and nail some more bad guys, will you? I want to finish reading this. Yeah, I think that was just more luck than no else. Like that case okay, has come out route. I definitely know in later cases you don't get that leniency. Still got four stars though. Clues helped me out massively. Questions are fucking solid. Well, that's that one finished. Well, there's a cutscene, so we'll watch this. My family runs a shipping business in San Francisco. We used to have two ships a week to Tokyo. We've been in shipping for two generations, Hank. I've never been on a voyage anywhere. I feel like Odysseus in the beginning of his journey. The Odyssey took ten years, Cole. This is the American century. America can rule the world after we win this war. We need to stay alive, Cole. Jesus, mate, calm down. These men are counting on us. Have you heard what the veterans are saying to each other? No. Golden Gate in 48. That's four more hard years of fighting. Well, that was that. And next one will be Fallen Idol. So thanks for watching and we will see you for the next one.